Hey there, Chris Vance here with Magna Forensics. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to bring data in from a gray key into Axiom. We're gonna do this two ways. One, we're gonna show you the connect to gray key functionality and why you should use it. And if you can't, show you the other ways of properly bringing in the data from both Android and iOS devices. To start, we'll go up here and say, create new case. I'll give this just a basic example here. And then I'll jump over to my evidence sources. We're gonna go with our mobile button. Now, whether you're doing Android or iOS, both of these functionalities do have a connect to gray key piece. We'll start with iOS. And we press iOS, we have our standard load evidence button to the left, but we're gonna start with the connect to gray key here to the right. The main reason for this is that the connect to gray key button is gonna give us the best level of support between the two products. Once I press the connect to gray key, I can then specify the host name of the gray key that I wanna uh, reach into and get the data from. Now, if I have multiple gray keys on my network, I do need to make sure I specify the correct host name. You can only have one host name paired to an Axiom installation at any given time. You do need to be on the same network for these two devices to be able to communicate. Mine is supplied here with Magma GK, and I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. Since the initial handshake has been done, I'm ready to load that data in. I now get to supply where I want this data to go and live. This is a folder I've used before, and that'll be fine for my example. So I'll go ahead down here and click Next. Selecting that will give me the option to download both the file system that has been uploaded to the gray key, as well as the keychain for that file system. If there are multiple images, those will be presented as well. We'll press Next again, and Axiom will begin the downloading stage. Now, because this can take some time, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video for a little bit and we'll jump to what happens next. But the key thing that you should realize is that when I am loading the data in using the gray key, it is going to not only download the data from the gray key to that location that I've supplied, it is also going to complete a hash check. You can see here that the keychain is already done and that means that the hash check for the keychain is ready to go. So with this functionality, Axiom will go ahead and automatically check all of those hash values for you during the download process and after to make sure everything is okay for processing. Once both of the evidence files that I have selected are downloaded and both are hashed, the next button in the bottom right corner will then give me the ability to move on. But for now, we're simply going to pause for a second. So here we've returned to our evidence sources screen. Now let's say that you can't use the connect to gray key functionality. Maybe your Axiom installation and the gray key unit aren't on the same network. That's okay. We can still use the load evidence function. So whether you've manually downloaded from the gray key, you've placed the image on a USB drive or a hard drive, it doesn't really matter. At this point, we're gonna go in and select our load evidence option. We're gonna treat all of the things that come off the gray key as far as the zip files that are done anyway, as an image file. If we're pressing image, we'll then be presented with our option to go through and select our zip file for our full file system and press open. Now, the first thing that's gonna happen is it is going to show you the directory structure of the image that you're choosing. And this gives us the chance to maybe do some selective processing. If there's areas of the file system that you don't want to process, or maybe you're just trying to scan for data very quickly, you can only select the key areas of the file system that you want to scan or deselect those that you don't want to scan. Since we're gonna go ahead and do everything, we'll press next. The best part about loading in the data from our gray key units using that iOS functionality is the add keychain file. This gives us the ability to specify the keychain for that file system image and automatically extract any of the necessary values for decryption from that keychain and apply them to our artifact options. To do that, all I need to do is press our browse button, select the keychain associated with that, and then select open. Now, small pro tip for me, I like to call the name of the keychain the exact name the gray key calls it. By doing it this way, I have a little bit better of my filter functionality. So one thing that I like to do before pressing open 
is I like to highlight the file name and copy that to my clipboard. Now I'll press open. Next. And go ahead and change that evidence number to reflect the UUID and the fact that it came from the keychain. Pressing save to commit that. The same information that we've talked about for iOS can be applied to Android devices. So if I choose to load an Android device, I can go up here to mobile, Android, again to go to connect to grid key, connect, and then grab any Android devices that may be available. The same process would occur and any values that are available to me will be downloaded and then I can process those with Axiom. But again, stepping back, let's say I just want to load an image that's been taken from the gray key. I can say load evidence. Again, we'll treat this Android device as an image. And here, I have a Samsung image that I've brought over. Save processes iOS, selecting the zip file, pressing open, still giving me the directory structure of that zip in case I want to deselect uh, specific areas or only key in on specific artifact types that I want to grab. And then we'll press next and it loads that data in. The one thing that you may have noticed is missing is that it doesn't ask us to load the key store value. The key store is treated a little bit differently because of the fact that the key store is actually generated by gray key and it only contains specific decrypted values that are used for artifact. What would be recommended is to go into our mobile, Android, load evidence, and you can still treat the key store as an image and you could actually just select our Android key store zip file, which will bring this in. Now, at the same time, you could explore this in any other program to open the data and the key values that we want to grab. Once that's processed, there are going to be some decrypted keys that can be used for specific artifacts, such as Signal and ProtonMail. All right, so with that, we have all of our data ready to go and we could continue to process this information like any other case and go through and analyze all of our information. Hopefully you've gained a little bit more information on how to bring that data in from GreatKey and how we can maximize the connection between the two tools and be the most successful in our operations. Until next time, thanks again.